Hello students, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll do the fourth and final passage of the May 2017 US SATs writing section, Petrified Lightning. Scientists estimate that 2000 is roughly the number of thunderstorms that rage over Earth at any given time and that lightning strikes the ground 20 times every second. Now, this is a question on redundancy. Because what you are basically saying here is that scientists estimate that 2000 thunderstorms range over the earth at any given time. So you don't have to say it in this way. 2000 is roughly the number that's just using too many words. So it's not A. So approximately 2000 thunderstorms rage over earth that's concise and does not use extra words. So I like B. Right around 2000 thunderstorms. This is informal usage, right? So I prefer to say approximately and not right about 2000 thunderstorms. So C is not good. And 2000 is approximately how many thunderstorms is also redundant. So B is correct. Lightning bolts can be up to five times hotter than the surface of the sun. This is far hotter than the melting point of silica, the compound that is the primary constituent of sand in most types of rock. Which choice most effectively combines the sentences at the underlying portion? So I need to say that lightning bolts can be up to five times hotter than the surface of the sun and then far hotter than the melting point of silica. So D, which looks like the most concise option is actually a good way to put this. Because if I'm saying that lightning bolts are up to five times hotter than the surface of the sun, dash far hotter than the melting point of silica, then that makes sense and it's a continuous sentence. So I like D. This temperature of the lightning bolts is far hotter. This is grammatically fine, but it's too long. And I'm kind of repeating this part, right? I already know that I'm talking about lightning bolts. So A is not the best answer. And this temperature is, is again repetitive. So it's not B. And here I have a connector, which is not needed, right? I don't need to say however, because it's a continuous theme that I'm talking about. So there is no need for this contrasting connector. So D is the best answer. Silica is also the essential ingredient used in making glass. Under certain circumstances, when lightning strikes sand or rock, evidence of the strike is left behind in the form of a fulgurite, sometimes called petrified lightning. First discovered in 1706, these formations are found in two varieties, sand fulgurites and the much less common rock fulgurites. As it cools, the silica lining forms a glass vault cavity that may look like a plant's root system. Okay, so I'm talking about a glass vault cavity that may look like a plant's root system. So the plant here is singular possessive, right? because it's a plant's root system. So if it's singular possessive, the apostrophe should be before S, not after S. So A is wrong. Yeah, so B is good because I have the apostrophe before S. Okay, this is wrong. The systems uh, will not have an apostrophe. So C is out. And this is wrong because I do need an apostrophe with plant because that's the possessive. So B is the right answer. Sand that adhered to the molten silica as it solidified forms a casing around the fragile glassy structure. Sand fulgurites form when the intense energy of a lightning bolt rapidly heats moist air trapped in sandy soil and the resulting explosive expansion creates a void lined with melted silica. Rock fulgurites found almost exclusively on the peaks of mountains appear as a thin glassy crust on the surface of a rock 
or along fractures within them. Okay, so this is interesting because here my sentence is finishing with along fractures within them, which is the plural pronoun, right? So I should have a plural subject here. So rock fulgurites appear as a thin glassy crust. Now it can't be on the surface of a rock because a rock is singular. So this them will not be justified. So it's not A. It can't be the rocky surface because I'm talking about on the surface or along fractures within rocks, right? So not B. Can't be C because I'm not talking about surface as the subject. So it's D, right? Because I'm saying that it can form along the surface of rocks, which is plural, or along fractures within them. So that them then can go with rocks. To make this paragraph most logical, sentence four should be placed. Okay. So sentence four is sand fulgurites form when the intense energy of a lightning bolt rapidly heats moist air trapped in sandy soil and the resulting explosive expansion creates a void lined with melted silica. So this is talking about the first stage in the formation of a sand fulgurite. The first sentence of the paragraph has introduced the two types of fulgurites, sand and rock. And then I'm saying as it cools the silica lining, and this silica lining has been introduced here, lined with melted silica, right? So this sentence, sentence four, should come before sentence two, because this is the first stage of the formation of sand fulgurites. And it ends with the silica lining. And the next line would then be, as it cools, the silica lining forms a glass walled cavity. So sentence four should come after sentence one, option B. Because glass is very resistant to weathering, fulgurites may last a very long time. The oldest example is estimated to be 250 million years old and give scientists a unique window into the past. Okay, so here I can see a dash here, right? And that would mean that this place should also have a dash because then my main sentence would be because glass is very resistant to weathering, fulgurites may last a very long time and give scientists a unique window into the past. And this uh, part between the dashes would be additional information. So therefore, I should choose option D. Option A is a semicolon, and uh, that wouldn't make sense here because a semicolon is supposed to separate two independent sentences. And the second part has a, a segment that relates to this part. So it can't be A. I can't start a new sentence here, as I explained, uh, because this part relates to the initial part. So it's not B. And a comma, uh, will not make sense here because if I have a dash closing the part that is uh, additional, then a dash should open it as well, right? So it has to be D. The formation of a fulgurite occurs in only a fraction of a second. So air bubbles are often trapped in the cooling glass and can be analyzed to reveal the atmospheric composition at the time the fulgurite was created. At this point, the writer is considering adding the following sentence. Gases trapped 15,000 years ago in fulgurites from the Sahara Desert, for example, demonstrate that the region was once more wetter and prone to thunderstorms. Okay, so should the writer make this addition here? I have said here that fulgurites can give scientists a unique window into the past, right? And this looks like one such window, right? Gases trapped 15,000 years ago in fulgurites from the Sahara Desert, for example, demonstrate that the region was much wetter once and prone to thunderstorms. So I would like to add this because this kind of supports the idea of how fulgurites give scientists a window into the past. 
So should the writer make this addition here? It should be a yes answer. Yes, because it provides an example of the paragraph's point about the uses of algorithms in research. Right, so that, that's a good answer because that's exactly what we need to say, how they're useful to scientists. Option B, yes, because it continues the passage's explanation of how fulgurites are formed. No, so this part is not about fulgurite formation. It's about how they help scientists look into the past. So A is the best answer. There's also a practical reason for studying fulgurites. When researchers dig them up very carefully, fulgurites can remain intact after they are extracted from the ground. Above ground power lines are often struck by lightning, causing power outages, but the effects of lightning on buried power lines were not investigated until the 1990s. Okay, so here I'm talking about power lines and the question is, which choice best introduces the information that follows? So it can't be the way it's written because that's about extraction of algorithms. So it has nothing to do with power lines. So it's not A. Lightning plays a major role in power distribution system failures in areas where thunderstorm activity is high. Yeah, so that makes sense because I'm actually talking about power outages caused by lightning in the next sentence, right? So B is a good introduction. One project conducted in 1996 excavated the world's longest known fulgurite, which has three branches measuring 8, 14, and 16 feet. So this is about a particular fulgurite, so it doesn't segue into the discussion of power failures. Seasonal variations in storms mean that certain times of the year are best for collecting data on lightning. Okay, so this is about the best time for collecting data. So again, does not follow uh, to a discussion of power outages. So B is the best answer. But the effects of lightning, right? Not effects, effects. Effects are consequences, right? It's the noun form of the word. Effect is the verb form, how something affects someone, right? So it would have to be the effects of lightning uh, on buried power lines were not investigated until the 1990s. Research at the University of Florida has shown that lightning can also disable underground power systems because the strikes keep moving below ground. Examination of fulgurites around buried power systems help scientists determine the most effective shielding materials for power lines. Okay, so here I have to decide the correct verb. And this verb uh, corresponds to examination. What helps scientists? Examination of algorithms helps scientists. So this is a singular noun. So I have to use a singular verb. And the only option that has a singular verb is option D, right? Examination of algorithms is helping scientists. Uh, help, have helped, and are helping are all plural. So that is not correct. Examination is helping scientists determine the most effective shielding materials for power lines. Florida averages about 25 to 40 lightning strikes per square mile each. Uh, each year, so the scientists hope their work can help mitigate the damage caused by so many strikes. So which choice most effectively completes the paragraph? So the way it's written looks good because we know that scientists are studying fulgurites to kind of help reduce the problem of power outage. And because it is particularly acute in Florida, scientists are hoping that they can mitigate the damage, right? So I like A. Um, Florida has this many strikes per square mile each year, and lightning strikes are dangerous to residents of the state as well as damaging to its infrastructure. Yeah, but that does not connect with how the examination of fulgurites can help reduce this problem, right? So B is not the best answer. 
but it is difficult to determine precisely how many of those strikes leave behind fulgurites. Yeah, that's okay, but I want to finish on a note of scientists' possible contribution, right, in uh, mitigating this problem. So it's not C. And if I just finish with uh, the number of strikes in Florida, that's an abrupt end, right? Because I should talk about uh, what that problem is and how scientists are hoping to correct it. So the best answer is A. Okay, so let's grade this starting from 34. So 34, B, D, B, D, B, B, D, B, D, B, and um, D, A, B, C, D, A, D, A, B, C, D, A. Okay, great. So we got all correct. And with this, we have completed the writing section of the May 2017 US test. I link to the solutions of the other passages in the description box. So do check those out. I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Take care. Bye-bye.